What's crackling, everybody? I'm Grownmaster. Welcome to Woven. So, this game looked really entertaining. It's another new, like, it's another different kind of concept of how a game is designed. Like, everything seems to be made of cloth in this game, so I was very intrigued by it. We're gonna start a new game. Yeah, I don't know what new game I had already. That's a cool intro. Woven. There's a red one in there. Is that like a bad thing? Okay, sorry the, loud, the sound was so loud there in the beginning. I have no idea what's happening. That looks like a giant, uh... Mantis? Why is there a giant Mantis? No idea what's happening. <laughs> Just seeing the world, I guess. Looks really big. And back to the title. In a In soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of color, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Okay. I was going to say, why now is he limping? Now when Stuffy no, sees something pretty, very little can keep him away, and not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction, while defying the principles of natural selection. And find some solid ground. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant. He can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. All right, now we get to play. Oh, so I actually click around with the walk on. All right, we can zoom out. Why am I? Why are you limping again? Because you fell off the mountain. So I don't know exactly what the goal of this game is, but... Mm. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although I must admit, the knitting work is excellent. Okay. Guess we're just supposed to explore? See what's up? So yeah, I didn't know much about this game, but the sheer look of it entertained me. Like, it's 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 unique style in itself. Mm. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. I actually dig well, the rhymes. not in darkness anyway. I, I dig the rhymes very much. Is he telling me not to go in the cave? Oh, he legitimately won't even go in the cave. Okay. Okay then. I guess we need to find a way to like lighten up the cave. Just like a cool little character. All right, let's wander off this way. Now, what is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. 
Oh, Stuffy, move along. It's not part of our story yet, but I want to. What is it? It looks cool. Like, this, it had vibes of, like, uh, there's a movie called Nine, where there's, like, a whole bunch of little puppets and stuff. I don't know. There's, like, vibes in this of different movies and things I've seen. Up ahead, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colorful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Okay. So, uh, do we need to go over there then? What are you telling me to do? What? Just left click on the bird? I don't know what you're telling me to do. Oh, right here. This valley oh. seems without peril. Now Glitch wakes up and sees the world for the first time, filling him with wonder blazing, for a woolen world stretched out before him. Soft, woolen, and frankly quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? <laughs> what is that? maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now, and be less at a loss. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? Okay, this is weird. So the dude's just gonna follow me now? This little, like, eyeball thing? <laughs> I, I didn't expect there to be so much narration. Uh, but yeah, so this, 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 I, I, I just simply by seeing it. In a world of oh my god, I can't even shapes. talk fiber and stitch stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch the machine came to life it was made for knitting with the right pattern glitch could make any fabric fitting he could set stuffy right and found he would do so with delight now why would that be what by this new appearance, Stuffy hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. Okay, this is really weird. Okay, well, I guess we're good then? I have a stomp. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know that's what you're doing. To your left. Your collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is near. That's pretty cool. Knitted leather pattern. Leather? I have leather? So can I make you like Here we go. So we good? I have no idea. I'm gonna just go down here. We're just gonna explore some. So I'm not sure. I don't know what we're supposed to do in this world. I'm intrigued though. Now I can run fast again. Hurrah! So, yeah. There's a lot more narration in this than I was truly expecting. Maybe we can go in here with, with him? Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, 
and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Okay, so what, does he have a light now? Oh yeah, he's the light wherever I'm looking. Keep an eye out for Glitch. He'll think out loud when an action can be done. Okay. There's no actions. Oh, down here. In the darkness, Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent glow. Whoa! Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking Whoa. of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where were they now? Before the time of woe. See, this is what I mean. This is like, it seems like it's like some sort of apocalypse. Like post-apocalyptic world. Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view, with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now, why would it do that? He had no clue. Okay, the rhyming and the narration is a lot more than I expected. <laughs> still dig the rhyming, but the narration, my god. Okay, what does this do? This machine spoke to Glitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. Okay, so I guess I gotta match all these things up. Oh, I missed it. Oh. I don't know if I'm getting perfect, right? Because I'm not going to do that. I got a new blueprint. Alright. Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? Ah, oh, a new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty neat. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Not a bad weird, but a, a, a weird in general. Okay, so we want to come over here then? To this sewing machine? And try out this costume? You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches, or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. Huh, you'll see. Okay, so stop. And then what? New pattern plum? Alright. So it looks like there's a lot of intricacies to this game, which is enticing. Alright, little thing, go in here. I guess we'll try this other little outfit we have. I click on all of them? We're an anteater now. Oh, I do like the sun. Powerful arms? Do I gotta do each one? I have no idea. Just do it in case. Yeah, I'm an anteater now. Alright. Now I got powerful arms. I don't know how that helps me. I guess we're just going to keep going and exploring. Can I walk up this? No, probably not. Back the way we came. Go around over here. Come around over here. And we'll just keep going down the pathway. So. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? Alright, well, it's a good thing we just got our arms. Because now we actually need to use them. <coughs> 
This is a strange game. I dig it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more. Uh, my mouth is still hurting, so... There are more Good of God. those machines as the one in which Glitch had crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say, that is. Okay. The narration's a bit much. But that may just be the beginning part here. Glitch was engulfed by memories, images, and words. Making no sense but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory. Although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy. He would need to find more memories to understand any of it. Okay. One out of five memories unlocked. So this was to do that on the one we found back there? I hope not. Alright, but yeah. My mouth is still hurting, so as far as how long I'll be playing. It all really depends. Uh, but I, I did. this is one that I've been wanting to try out. I've had for about a week. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch, solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts. That was sure enough. Okay. Let's just go over here. Glitch had real smarts. Man, I'm the one who did it. What are you talking about? This little thing didn't do anything. I already could tell you were supposed to push it over because it was a chopped tree. Giving all the credit to the to that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One of these things. Stump. And let's scan. We now have all of, all of the other reindeer. Oh God, it's getting that time of year. I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way, deeper into the meadows, and the hidden wonders that therein lay, and the hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him, and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should, but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? He retreated deep into thought, pondering the how and the why. Stuffy just enjoyed the view, staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how. The sheep. Not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side and to be taken in tow. This is such a weird game. <laughs> Frogs. So we're just floating down. I saw there was something we clearly passed by that we could get more recipes from or such. Seeing the moon had changed Glitch eternally, and to get to it behind the Red Mountains, they should be. Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. One of these paths, anyway. Oh. Oh, so scanning the frog actually unlocked a new thing too. We got Jade. Okay. I was like, I, I just happened to see the frog, so I was like, can I do anything with it? And then I saw the little thing that popped up on him. Cuckoo. Alright, we're just gonna keep going. How about these buttons? Is there a reason for these buttons? Can you do anything with these buttons? No? Alright. Seeing these all over the place. I wanna go to the other side. This is where the sheep are. Oh. What if we get closer? You got? Can you can you fly over there? No. All right. We'll just keep going up this way. There's a thing here. I relish the warmth of this valley. Eh, I don't need that right now, though. Well, we'll just keep going up. I know there was like 
the very top of this, there was a thing that makes it so we can get a new pattern. I wonder if it would be one that makes it so we can swim across the water. That'd be cool. You, like, look at the buttons like there's something there, buddy. But... Oh, I guess oh, it just looks where my mouse Another shape for Stuffy was near. Yet, Glitch had to wonder. Who had put all this machinery here? Yeah, that's a good question. Who put all this stuff here? I mean, how did this world exist? It's made of woven. It's made of woven. It's made of cloth and such. Alright, so we gotta do the thingy. Turn you on. I gotta do this part again. Oh, you stay there. Okay, you're fine. You're good. Got this. Drop down. Got this part. Up here. Down. Up. <laughs> this is an interesting way to do it. It makes me think of like a music box. Oh, we already did it. That was super fast. We got a pig costume. Okay. What did the pig costume do for me? I don't see anything else here. So I guess we're just gonna go down to that. Oh, I can't click all the way down there. I can, there we go. Go, my dude. Go, my dude. Right, I am gonna get on here and it we're gonna- It did cost oh. time. That much was true. But Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. Enjoyed it with an enthusiasm so unwavering. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it too. Okay, so what does this do for me? It's the same thing as the other ones. So elephant, click on this one. It doesn't have the arms. It does have the head thing. It does have the leg thing. This has the arms, the head, and the leg thing. So does the pigs and everything. And don't understand. Okay, well, what else do I have? I have olive? That guy could just change everything around. Here we go. I like it. We're a pig now. <laughs> How exactly does this help me? Is there something I can do now that I couldn't before? I don't know, I guess we're just gonna keep exploring. Not 100% sure. I assume I can't just walk over to the other side, can I? New. No. Okay, well, uh, excuse me? Is there a tree to knock down or something? <coughs> oh god, sorry. Uh, Alright, well, let's just head. Oh, there looks like. There's so much life here. Yet, something is missing. Wait, is this where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from, right? Yeah, this is where the frogs are. Oh, so there was another path I didn't even see. Glad I went all the way up there to get the costume, I guess. Got the pig costume. Oh, there's something up there. I honestly can't tell. Oh, I did the body. That's why I have the pigtail. Something suspicious, suspicious. Huh? Why is there a woodpecker attacking a rock? That seems peculiar to me. Can I call you back over? Where'd you go? Oh, you're on this tree now? Oh, uh, do this first. We got a Tiffany pattern, which is just craziness. Well, I'm supposed to just make you continuously move? Go 
back to the rock so you fall make the rock fall down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Had a feeling. So now we can go back inside here and find more of the uh, cave drawings. And oh, there's a thing in here too. Where are you going? Go right here. Next to this, so he can do his thing. Well, first off, if we do a light in here, because it's a cave, no? Alright, well, you can at least do this. No, this one. Let's activate the right thing. Ah, oh, he remembered. Explosions like a sounding horn. Something got ripped, something got torn. He had died on the spot and was birthed anew, but something had gotten greatly askew. The world was wrong. Gone was the song. What song? What was wrong? Oh, it made no sense. Okay. That's the thing that happened. Uh, well, we got a new memory at least. Do, do, do. Go over here. Is there anything else in here? Oh, we can push this. All right, let's push this along. This valley was full of life, but to glitch, something felt, well, amiss. Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. But without others of its kind? Surely not. They must have traveled to someplace new. Oh. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh, what a thing to do. Scan. Okay, we got five out of 30. Well, there was a whole other area, wasn't there? Or can I circle back around to it now? I'm not sure. I feel like we left that other area that we were supposed to be in. Maybe not. I have no idea. I'm gonna go back this way just to check. I feel like we may have missed it a tiny bit. There is something back here. There's a plant. Hidden back in all the other plants. Make it back here. I believe in you. Stomp. Scan. Yeah, okay. So this was this was the other way. So this is where we came from. Alright, so I guess technically you probably don't have to do those things, but... I like to find all the like, little hidden things. So I'm glad I did. Uh, let's keep going. Admittedly, I did not hear what that story, the last story was. Somebody knocked on my door at that exact moment in time. I came back just as it ended, so I missed the whole story part oh, of the watching the edit. Oh, it's so soft. Lovely, I admit. Just that in general? Oh, it's an airplane outside making the sound. I'm like, what the heck is that noise? My brain is just fried right now. Wait, 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 wait. Go back here. What is this? What is this about? Just a random... I can just Okay, just a new pattern I can get just simply based off of that grass fashion. <laughs> okay. Doesn't really look like grass to me. Oh my god, that's a giant cobra. Hello? You friendly? The big snake looked stuffy up and down and shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits oh. did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither, but apparently they do. Oh, and it's telling me to go scan that thing right there then. Alright, well, I get it. So we just need to go back and change our costume around. And I'll be good? Yes. Oh god, I thought that was a spider, it was just him. It's like, spiders, no! Even stitched spiders would be ster terrifying. Sterifying, yeah. As Glitch grudgingly admitted, a short intermission was fine. His actual enthusiasm showed by asking Stuffy, what color and shape shall it be this time? Uh, it'd be other, right? Yeah, grass matter. So what? Is this what you want? You just want me to change patterns like this? I have no idea. We're just doing the whole thing, so why not? 
Okay, exit. Let's see if this counts. I look crazy now. Alright, I matched your pattern. Will you let me go, Snake? Will it be cool now? I mean, I don't got the green, but I don't think I have that green at all. The snake nodded approvingly of Stuffy's fancy display, seemed happy, and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. This is so freaking weird. So freaking weird. I have a feeling there's going to be a dark twist as we go down the way. They had to find a way up to the Red Mountain Range. Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. Rather, it was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Ooh. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy not to stray. Surely there was no sense in cuddling the sheep, or playing chase with the bees, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. They should follow the road. What, what? was that? Glitch saw a metal spider. Fear tightened his wings. Memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. Yeah. I was like, there's going to be some dark twist that happens to this. I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be something that's just going to be like, okay, that's just freaking dark. Because they keep talking about some catastrophe that happened. Can you scan these guys? More sheep. Although one of them looked unique. Sure, Glitch could scan the pattern, as long as the sheep were meek. Scan him. Scan him. Scan him. Scan him. Why won't you scan him? Scan. <laughs> Dang it. Scan him. Quick. Yeah. Alright, so there's a block there we can push. Uh, let's go into the woods a little bit. Take a look around. See if we can find something over here. That adventure's off in the trees, so... I mean, I gotta go look in the trees, right? This looks like where it gets a really open world. Ha, ba, ba, ba. Let's go through here. If I seem out of it in my videos lately, I apologize. I am on medicine that's just messing with me. <laughs> it's making my brain break. Alright, let's go over here, around this. Apparently, we just simply... I, th I think this is set there to make so you can actually walk through this specific area. Maybe there's, like, somewhere else we can walk through, or maybe you can't even go over there. I don't know. This is a cool little world, though. Unique, unique all into it to itself of the woven nature. It's one of the reasons why this game intrigued me so much. It's just because it, it has this intriguing, like, the, the fact that it's all woven. It's all, like, cloth and everything. But there is this mechanical horrorness to it, I guess. Are you guys bad guys? Can I scan these guys? Can you let me scan you? I'm scared of getting close and having to try to fight me. Closer. Scan. No. Right there. We're chill a second ago. Every time I get right next to you, you keep going. Scan. Arr. Scan. Scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I assume I can't just walk over this. It's, look oh, at the water. The hills here look quite comfortable. Okay. Brrrr to you too, boars. Good lord. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna head over this direction, I guess. And we'll take a look at what's over here. Ba ba. This is where the sheep were. Stuffy ogled the apples hanging from the tree. And suddenly knew that Apple Red was all he oh. ever wanted to be. Glitch sighed. This stuffy was very easily distracted. Should he really even bother? Yeah. Okay, let's get stuffy them apples. One way or the other. 
Um, what? But I don't want that apple. I want one of these ones. Not just gonna. What? Why, why did you fall down? All right. I guess we just gotta follow the apple. I assume this I'm gonna have to push over. Yeah. All right. So push that. I push you again? Nope. Uh, what about this one? I guess we push it from the other side, maybe? There's ducks out there, too. Oh! He ate the apple! How could you bore? Alright, well, whatever, man. Alright, well, let's let's keep looking around, at least in this little section we're on. We're clearly need... It looks like we're gonna have to have some sort of puzzle to cross the water there. I don't see anything special over there. Uh, let's just keep going this way. How about you guys? Can I scan any of these? These sheep seemed happy. There was no sign of danger around. Maybe Glitch's premonitions were nothing but false visions. And there wasn't imminent danger lurking about. Mm. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's gonna be something bad. This definitely has, like, super, super <laughs> vibes of nine. Like, that's that's just what I keep feeling when I'm, when I'm playing this. Seeing this world and stuff. I mean, I know that was in, like, actual, like, real world. But it was just things that happened to, like, puppet things that existed in a time after people. And it's beavers. Scan. Yeah! There's a big beaver. Whoa. He's not happy. Okay, can't go near a big beaver. Probably have to transform myself or something. To make myself look like them. But before I do all that, we're gonna go this way real quick. So I think this is the other direction. Oh no, there's another little thing back here. He remembered the song that sang for so long, singing to the life of any, there had been so many, and now all was gone. The song was broken, no words were spoken. Who had broken the song? What had been many? Okay. Alright, we got three of five, that's cool. Is there really only five total? I don't know how long this game's gonna be. Um, I think I actually am nearing the point, though I'm gonna... I think I'm going to end up at ending it here for now. Mostly because uh, my stomach is actually not feeling good from the meds. And I thought I'd be able to go a little bit longer, but I can't. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I will definitely check out more of this world. This is a intriguing, intriguing thing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the link in the description, in, in the description below, like most things. And until next time.